so here we are, April 13th, 2016, and it's been over a year now, and my water has turned this color every single day. It's cute, looks kind of like a spa, but if you hear the sound behind me, it's our vent, and I also have my window open up there to allow the fumes to vent out because the smell is so strong, like chemicals, that it burns my eyes, nose, throat, and sometimes I wheeze so badly that I have to use my rescue inhaler and I don't have asthma or COPD. I've been tested for it. Um, water Defense has tested my water and found so many carcinogenic byproducts, um, so high dichlorobenzene and uh, chloroform, things that we should not be inhaling. And yet we keep hearing from experts that yes, there's high lead and copper. There's also lead and copper in my water that you're looking at right here. Um, but it's safe to bathe. How in the world, if it's not safe to drink, how is it safe to bathe? Because they say that you cannot absorb or inhale this. Well, I beg to differ because my skin burns after every shower. It peels off, it's embarrassing, and it's painful, and it hurts. My whole family, my sons included, are losing hair by the handful. Our skin and our hair has changed color, it is rough, and it hurts. And people say, oh, it must be high chlorine. I have zero residual chlorine. My pH is off the charts and this is not right. So for anyone to say that the pipes are healing, the system's getting better, that's not true. This has not changed. This has not changed in over a year. It used to be yellow and it ended up turning this blue-green color every single day. So we need new pipes, just that that's the end of it. No recoding, no other experiments. We're not lab rats. We've told you this for two years now. We don't wanna be part of your failed experiment. So just stop. Right now our health is at stake. We need new iron pipes because guess what? It's coming up to Legionnaire's season and Legionella feeds off iron corrosion as well as the orthophosphates. Like Bob Bocock said, it's candy. Water defense, Scott Smith has pointed out that there are so many carcinogenic byproducts because of this. The pipes all need to go, the water heaters need to go, and the interior plumbing needs to be replaced. The decision to do this to our water was done by the state. The state needs to pay. But we have Kevin Cotter, Speaker of the House, saying he's not going to send us any more money until October. And then we also have Governor Snyder who says, hey, I'm going to send you some bottled water and filters. That'll be fine. I can't bathe in bottled water. They won't give us enough of that. They won't give us enough water, and it's impossible. You live like this. So I'm inviting Governor Snyder, Rich Baird, uh, Lieutenant Governor Callie, and Kevin Cotter to come stay at my house, bathe in this, and drink it. Filter it. I'm sure it'll be just fine if you throw a filter on it. By the way, it's not. Um, to come live like this, to come beg in a line for bottled water, to live off our rations, and to cook with it, clean with it, and to give it to our pets and our families, because apparently that's what they think Flint deserves, bottled water and filters, instead of clean, fresh water that we are paying the highest rates in the nation for. I am done. I am fed up. I am sick of this being my tub. I have two tubs. Both of them turn out like this every single day. I'm done with the smells. I'm done with the pain. I'm done with being on sick leave. I haven't received a paycheck since December of 2015 because I'm sick. I can't go to work. I can't get up in the mornings. I'm tired of being sore and in pain and dealing with the fact that my organs are suffering because I am being exposed to this chemical and so are so many others in Flint. So since you seem to say you want to take responsibility for your actions and inactions, Governor Snyder, come on over and live with us and we'll see how long you wait until you spend money on our pipes. And also, Mike Lee from Utah, knock it off. You say you're not going to send us federal money until the state sends us money. Obviously, they don't care about us. They're not sending us money. So just do the right thing and send us money for our infrastructure that can be rebuilt by Flint hands, not outsiders. Otherwise, I invite you to come from Utah and come live with this. Come live in this smell. Come live in this god-awful water that burns your skin. And tell me how quickly you would send money to your own family if this was, this, if this was them. So for all you people that aren't helping us, and think that it's no big deal, or wanna lie and say that it's getting better, live in this. None of you live here, so I'm tired of it. Science has proven that it's not safe. Yes, you can inhale these um, contaminants, and it is a carcinogenic byproduct that affects your liver, your brain, your lungs, your bones. I've just had enough. Come here, and you live in this right now. So I'm in, it's an open invitation. This is Melissa Mays um, with What Are You Fighting For? Still living here, still dealing with this, and tired of people from outside of Flint telling us that this is acceptable and this is safe. Thank you. Please share.